Capricorn. So a message I was getting for you guys was um, examine all of your options. So we could be talking about if you're planning on buying a house, planning on buying a car, um, whatever it is. It's very important for you to examine all your options because I do feel that you may um, decide to do something else or may go a different route or might find something that um, is a little bit better for you. So could we talk about, we could talk about love, we could talk about anything, but um, yeah. Do review all your options. Also, um, they were telling me pay close attention to the people in your life right now because it make I feel like it just seems like somebody is not on your team or someone is not um, genuine. So do pay attention. You might know who this person is. Some of you might not, but it feel it could be someone at work as well. It didn't necessarily feel like it was somebody close to you. Could be, but it didn't feel like that. Um, so yeah, pay attention to be careful on what you say to people at this time. Um, also, I do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon and to everyone who has subscribed to my second channel. Also, do check out these beautiful crystal bracelets. I will put the website um, to them on the screen here and do be sure to use my code for 15% off. These are absolutely beautiful. Like, I never take them off now. I never wore jewelry until, uh, I don't know why I didn't, I love crystals around my home, so I don't even know why I didn't think about, like, crystal jewelry but now i'm obsessed so definitely do go check um all of that out here just what are the messages for capricorn what are the messages for capricorn okay so we have the knight of swords energy this is information so you guys can be doing with an air sign gemini Libra, aquarius but i definitely feel like there's some information coming in and i do feel like this has to do with work um, your business, your art, something like that. We do have the Eight of Pentacles here. So, I'm, okay, just random message. I feel some of you guys are going to be selling something. Um, someone else is very interested in something that you have or something that you do. It almost is like someone's going to want you to do a job for them that they feel you would do a great job at. So maybe you guys are tattoo artists or um, maybe you build stuff. Whatever the case is, I do feel like somebody's going to want your expertise to do something so do expect um this to be a whole new career whole new job or just like little jobs coming in but i do feel you are going to be um, doing a lot of different side things or going to be adding a lot of different side incomes to um i guess just to what are you're, you're already doing so we do have the king of swords here and the six of cups definitely could be someone from your past thinking about you air sign gemini libra aquarius um, doesn't have to be, but I do feel like some past energy may be coming up, whether this is somebody reaching out to you or um, I do feel like this could just be on your mind or maybe this person has you on their mind. We do have the death card energy here. Some of you guys will be dealing with the Scorpio, but I definitely do feel this is um, just this situation. I feel like you're truly closing out a cycle. I really feel like even emotionally, if you haven't even been talking to this person, I do feel like it is time to really let this person go. Um, I don't know, almost just for your own forward movement and your own emotional health. Um, of course, this could be vice versa. This could be the cross watchers, cross watchers energy. But I definitely do feel something just became real. Like something is like, okay, yeah, it's really over this time. Like we're not getting back together this time. I do feel like you're going to have that moment. So, or, oh, they just told me also that like I mean it this time. So I don't know if some of you guys are maybe going to be dealing with a breakup here very soon. Some of you guys will deal with the Leo. We do have the strength card energy here and the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Something's coming to an end. Um, definitely could be a friendship or a relationship, but do know that it really is over this time. What is the energy surrounding Capricorn? Okay, so we do have the star energy, Aquarius energy here, and the two of pentacles. Okay, so I also am getting as well, do know that there is a lot of hope in a situation. And I really do love that the star come out because it also represents healing. So this, this shit that is over now, um, it's going to allow you to actually truly heal yourself and get away from whatever this negativity was or whatever it is that was truly holding you back. Yeah, I, I just feel like some of you guys have discovered that this situation is unfixable. Like the death card, you cannot bring that. They just keep telling me it's over this time. Like it really is over this time. And I mean, of course, we don't have to be talking about a love situation, but something is for real done. Like I definitely feel you have closed out a cycle in your life. If you were dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic situation, that cycle is absolutely closed. And I do see a new beginning coming in here for you. What is the Knight of Swords energy here? 
Ooh, yeah, Six of Cups coming out again and the Page of Swords. So someone's stalking you. Someone's definitely stalking you here. Could be anybody. I'm getting Gemini energy, Page of Swords. So do know that this person does still stalk you. Kind of strange. Um, I don't necessarily feel like it's going to affect you in any way. Um, but yeah. D hmm. Okay, they're telling me dangerous. I don't feel like you're in any physical danger. Um, yeah. It's almost like... I feel like you were the one that maybe... We're like, yeah, I'm done this time. This person's not done. This person was never done. I don't necessarily feel like they have a plan in place, but do know they are still holding on to your energy um, a lot. Now, I don't feel like you have anything to worry about, but it's almost like, I feel like they're now going to be bold enough to maybe try to sneak back in your life. Like I said, I feel like you're going to be getting a message. You may be getting a message from this person. Seven of Swords energy. Advice is to not engage. Like, do not engage with this. Like, I'm just getting a very negative vibe from this person's like intentions so clarifying the eight of pentacles we do have the world card here a lot of you guys are going to be stepping into a new job we do have the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck again clearly wanted to come out so um yeah new business for those of you that are like okay maybe i am going to start this maybe i am going to go ahead and sell these things i've been creating or just like whatever it is do it um, definitely see a lot of success here and I do see this turning into another stream of income for you seven of pentacles energy bottom of the deck this is going to grow you're going to see results from this and I also do feel it is going to make things a little bit easier on you so whether this is financially easier on you I love that the same cards are showing themselves to me I'm looking at the four of swords and we have the four of swords right here so definitely a very clear message for you guys today I do feel like you are after letting this situation go, this friendship, this relationship, whatever, you are going to be able to relax. Like, it may not seem like that if some of you that are kind of still dealing with the situation, it may not seem like it's going to be that easy. It actually is. I really feel things are just going to go from, like, chaos to completely fucking calm, which is, like, crazy. But, yeah, so do know it is very important for you to let this go. And I feel like a lot of you have. But for those of you that are still holding on a little bit, it's so important for you to let this go and move forward. We do have the Eight of Wands, so I don't feel like this person is going to necessarily leave you alone. I do feel like they are going to still try to cause drama and hurt and just destruction in your life. But I really feel if you truly, like, just don't entertain it, it will go away. Like, and it sounds just, like, so easy. But I really feel it's time to just, like, really just stop this shit. And I do feel like this reading may only be for, like... Um, a few of you, because I do feel like a lot of you guys maybe have already dealt with this situation, have ended it, and now are moving forward. Um, but for a lot of you that are still in it, it, it just seems like, I don't know why, but now is the time. Because I almost feel like the reasoning, I mean, of course, now is the time because it's just, I feel like lesson learned. Like, I definitely feel like now is the time for you to move forward. But also, it makes me feel if you continue with this person, things are just going to be worse like three of swords tower card energy shit is just going to get worse in this situation so i almost feel like this is a warning a little bit to if you guys have this ending let it be done why is the strength card energy here and i do feel like the strength in this um, is talking about that you are strong enough to you know walk away from this person because of course we all care about the people that even the people that have caused this drama at one point we do care about these people so do know that you have the strength to walk away from this if you are in a difficult um, even abusive type of situation do know that you are strong enough so we do have the two of swords and the six of swords so yeah being uncertain about what's gonna happen if i walk away if i move forward uh you're gonna heal like things are gonna be a lot better than maybe you think they're going to be because you're going to heal from this situation um i do feel a lot of you are kind of stuck in the decision as well deciding on maybe what to do about a career situation a home situation even why is the two of pentacles here Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Oh, okay. I don't know why they just told me this. Yeah, keep shit to yourself. Um, work situation. I feel somebody could be shady at work. That, that might only be for a few of you, but they're just telling me someone is shady at work. Um, don't tell them anything. Four of Pentacles. I also do feel right now. Um, I love that the Knight of Cups came out in the reverse. Kind of makes me feel... I feel that somebody is like, they keep telling me this is not what you want. This is not truly what you want. And I do feel like we could be talking about a person here. It seems like someone, they're telling me putting on a show. 
Like, I feel somebody is just being straight up fake to you. Hmm. I do want to get deeper into that. Somebody's being straight. They're, they're holding back something. Okay, yeah, somebody's really fake in your life. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Cups energy here with the Seven of Swords? Okay, I feel... Oh, gosh. Yeah, you know who this is, too. Could be a Pisces. Yeah, I feel like you know who this is. Or, like, you have a hunch that, like... Maybe this person doesn't always tell me the truth. Like, I almost feel like you do have this hunch here. But, like... I don't know what they want. It seems like the five of swords, seven of swords, yeah, they're lying to you. Yeah, they're not being honest, but what do they want? Like, what's the point of them not being honest with you? I don't feel like there is a point. I think they're just a liar. So yeah, there's no point. Hmm. Yeah, do, do be aware of that. And this could be why, this could be what I'm talking about here. So important for you to let this person go. Whoever you're thinking about right now who's popping into your head, that's them. Because... They are. They, I feel like this person's been lying to you the whole time. Yeah, about a situation. Like, the literally whole time. Okay, let me see if they'll tell me what's up. Why is the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords energy here? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, all right, yeah. Okay, so, again, probably only for one a couple of you. If your relationship is perfect, do not take this message. But for whoever needs to hear this one... Um, yeah, this person, they're not being honest about what they want with you, like straight up. Or of course this could be vice versa, but it's like they want this family life with you. They're straight up lying. So do be aware of that. Um, and, and that could be why it's so important for you to let this go because you're going to figure this out. This could be avoided because I almost feel like you're going to be completely sure and find out red handed, like this person red handed that they're lying about this future they want with you. They're lying to you to get what they want. Whether this is sexual, this is money, this is whatever. You have something that they, it's like they're telling you what you wanna to hear to get what they want pretty much. So again, if it's not your message, do not take it. Um, but for those of you that needed to hear that, it is time to leave this connection. It is time. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.